Then as we move forward in the book, you come to New York City and you're, you're beginning to break into an incredibly competitive right. modeling business. You had, you had no you know, inside track, you had no references, you had no anything. Right. And uh, walk us through the character and how that, that went on, going to these calls, going to these various you know, um, shoots. Well, I mean, I get, once I got with an agency, they immediately sent me to you know, a few photographers. And the first photographer I ever went to was, you know, a little bit lecherous, you know, and he was, yeah. you know, trying to get, you know, these uh, sort of bizarre shots. And uh, you know, you can read about it in in the book in the book mm -hmm. of how, you know, he handled it slash I handled it. And the other photographers were great, but um, once I sort of, you know, got through that, you know, uh, uh, experience. Once I got over to Italy, things were pretty awesome. There was a, a great yeah. photographer, and but even in Italy, yeah. it was like it was like the you know big leagues yeah. of backbiting and yeah. Darwinian survival of the fittest, yeah. and egos galore. But yeah. there were also some very pretty girls and pools and <laughs> hotels and things like that. This book is not exactly what you might call G P G. Uh, no, they, yeah, no, it's like P G thirteen or you know R maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's definitely up there with you know, you know, uh, uh, coming of age books. Yeah. Um, um, out there, but the the main thing that I wanted to do is make it real and believable, and uh, you know, draw from real experience. And uh, uh, you know, when I first wrote it, I started writing it for oh, what's going to be sensational and what are people going to like? And I found that I didn't like it, and I went back and you know, like a, a, the first hundred pages, I just got rid of it. Okay. I just started with you know what was. You know what was actually going on in his head, and what he was observing, and I t and I just tried to be totally honest about it. And um, at first, I found it very limiting and tough to stay inside his head uh -huh. because you don't know anything unless he knows it. And but then I found it kind of liberating because he can create his own world. Someone that did a review said, you know, he creates a world real and imagined because. Yeah. In all honesty, any world that we believe is there, that's really our interpretation. You could have two people, like you and I could be sitting right here and what you think is going on could be totally different yeah. than what I think is going on, well, I, and we're both right.